Good day everyone! So today's video is going to be my first ever art supply haul video I think. <laughs> In my impression I've never um, done any art supply haul video before on my art channel. Um, not to mention like those like small little mini hauls on my vlog video um, on my vlog channel. <laughs> but yeah, so this will be my first ever and also my first art supply haul video in 2017 so yeah before I get too deep into the video I would just like to say a big thank you to you guys who stopped by my channel to watch my videos and don't forget to check me out on my social media links and also if you interested you can support me on my patreon page and all the links will be in the description box below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video as well yeah so i hope you enjoy this haul video so let's get started hey guys so today's video is a going to be a art supply haul video so i got some art supplies over the past uh i would say two to three months so here I'm going to share with you what I got for the past 3 months and some of them are actually quite exciting to me in my opinion because yeah anyways let's start with surfaces to work on so I got a few canvases and this is one of them this is I actually opened this I actually wanted to like try painting uh, and acrylic painting uh, some time ago not some time ago, maybe a few weeks ago. So I opened it, open it up, but um, I don't have time to <laughs> to do it so far. So this is I'm not too sure what is the sizes, but um, yeah, it's just canvases. It's slightly smaller than A4 size, so you get the idea. The next one is a bigger one. So this is kind of I think. Uh, slightly bigger than A4 so this is also canvas canvas and uh, the previous one and this one I got from Art Friend yeah, which is one of my local art supply store and I actually forgot how much they cost but I think canvases are generally quite expensive so anyways I'm also going to use that for acrylic painting for canvas panels I got in this sorry for the mic this canvas panel and this is actually like a wood pan uh, panel and it's for acrylics and oil so I bought it for um, acrylic painting as well and yeah and then another one I also bought two more big canvases but these are from Spotlight so this is one of them and this is the other one which is super big it's like I'm now so away from my table that I cannot go closer so it's super super big and I think it's almost to like an A3 size so yeah, and this one is the slightly smaller one but uh, they are also for acrylic I actually saw some like canvases for water watercolors so I was like quite interested to find out more and I actually wanted to get one but I decided against it so anyways I got the acrylic ones so those are for canvases and surface to work on the next one are brushes so I got this is not this is not part of the supply I'm sorry <laughs> so I got some um, new, uh, new brushes I actually cannot remember which one are the new ones but definitely this one is a new one uh, these are all for acrylics so yeah, it's just a mixture of brushes this is actually also a new one yes yeah, so, yes and then I think I got this one as well as, as a new one and uh, this no yeah this one is actually actually a new one and I also got a detail brush which is uh, which is this one this is like a 
like a detailed brush it's a super super like fine tip um, actually like I could have gotten like a much detailed one like a much smaller bristle one or shorter one but um, yeah, this is what I got anyways I always had a hard time making details with brushes the rest are um, older brushes which I already got for some time so those are my acrylic brushes for watercolor brushes I actually got this one this one is actually really interesting I don't know I mean I, I think I could do some like stippling with it because of like the tip is actually quite like broad it's not like those um, where it tapers to a fine line or a fine tip so I guess it's good for stippling so that's one then I also got this one this this is the big I think this is a uh, three quarter inch brush this is for um, big washes of watercolor yeah so this is it and, and I also got this <coughs> um, angled brush so this is good for like when you're painting at an angle yeah so you don't have to be like you know <laughs> I don't know vertical I suppose yeah this is for good this is good for I think like um, uh, non right angle corners corner corners yeah and I got another um, angle brush but this is a bigger one so this is good for like bigger areas of work and Oh, this is this is this is something that I've been really wanting to get for ages. This is a fan brush. I seriously have no idea what was what is the purpose of a fan brush, but I got it anyway. Yeah, and I love like I love the touch of um, the bristles because it's so smooth and so soft. Yeah, <laughs> this fan brush and another like a square flat brush um, smaller one I think this is half inch I think so <laughs> yeah so anyways all this I got from my friend. I think this is that's all for watercolor brushes so yeah I think among my favorite mm, my favorite brush would be this one the three quarter three quarter <laughs> Um, flat brush because I like to make like big washes of like paints I, I find it's very nice but this is only you um, like uh, applicable if you are doing like large paintings if the painting is too small this is actually too big so yeah those are my watercolor brushes the next thing is paints so for paints, I got two types, um, both are acrylic paints. This one is the um, cheap, <laughs> yeah, cheaper acrylic paints. So um, yeah, so this is uh, the Mon Mon Monami <laughs> Monami acrylic paints. I actually got this at the bookstore. <clears throat> and it's just like six dollars and these are the colors of the paint sets um, I think I used them once before but I couldn't remember what was the painting all about um, I guess it's not that the quality is not, not that great to leave an impression yeah with me so but I think for six dollars they are a nice set for like starting out uh, and yeah just trying trying out acrylic paints the next one is a more expensive one this one um, is the Windsor Newton artist water uh, no, what I, <laughs> acrylic paints yeah, so I haven't used them at all so I'm actually quite excited I use the cheaper 
um, acrylic paints uh, but not from Winter & Newton it's from Dela Rowney I don't really like the Dela Rowney paints so I decided to try Winsor & Newton Newton, yeah Newton. So these are the colours of the set This one is a 12 tube set of 20ml each tube So yeah, I really, I'm really quite into acrylic paints yeah, so. Now is, to me, is the most <laughs> exciting part because it's all Copic markers Yay! I actually ordered them uh, online through Art Friends online store and they actually just arrived today. So um, in this package, I actually also got some like these are um, uh, glitter gel and yeah. So I got the I I think I got pink, gold, and silver. Yeah, and a red gold. Yeah, so these are the colors because I really wanted to um, get some glittery pens or or gel or something like that or or something that I can apply glitter on my artwork. So I chanced upon this thing and I find that it's quite interesting. So I got them and each like this con like each, this size is about six fifty Singapore dollars, which I think is not too expensive because. It's 12 millimeters per jar. Is this called jar? I don't know. Per little container. Yeah, so and now is the highlight for me. I've been waiting to open this whole day. Oh, so I, um, I total I ordered like 24 copy markers from this um, in this order. So I actually got, uh, actually already got more um, copy markers earlier on, and which I'll show you later. So I'll open them up. So, so these are the other, all the markers that I got in this order, and. Previously, I've also got more like individual markers, which are all here. Wow. Wow, wow, wow! Total, I think I got about 40, 41 new markers, which I am really so excited about. And yeah, oops, <laughs> it's too full. Anyways, okay, let me show you. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Okay, let me show you what are the colors that I have got. So, this is part of the markers. You can pause and maybe take a closer look. And then, Second group Oops Here are the third group These are the last group. So yeah, I think I actually like um, got two W six because um, at when I was at the store, um, like the first time for the Copic markers. So when I was when I was like picking out like the warm greys that I want, are. Uh, Apparently, the caps were actually mixed up, so 
Um, the marker was supposed to be W0 but um, one of the cap, because these markers are double-ended, so one of the cap was actually capped with W6. So, and that W6 was facing um, facing out from the shelf, so I picked that W6 and accidentally. So, when I came back, I realized it, and then when I ordered the, when I purchased, uh, placed the order online, I ordered another W6, which is warm grey 6, yeah. The markers. The next thing I also got. Sorry for all the packaging here. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I also got um, was the fixative for pastels. Uh, I am really quite into oil pastels uh, previously and now as well. So. Yeah, some time ago I got this fixative for pastels and I, I haven't tried it out. Um, I'm just quite afraid of this smell but because it's pastel artwork so I guess it's inevitable. <laughs> so yeah, this is the Delirani fixative. So the last thing I'm going to show in this haul video and it's the biggest one is this. This is a desktop easel um it's a super super single super single it's a super super simple one so um it just have it just has this little like wooden thing that it's like a kick scan a kick, kick stand and there are different like um catches to different like um angles to the easel so this is this is yeah, this is the lowest one. Yeah. So this is the easel, and this is the highest angle. But I think I can get it even like this. Um, but I'll just have to be careful because there's no catch here. And yeah. So I, this is the highest I can like the biggest angle that I can get with this. Which I think is not too bad, but the the bad thing is because it's it's light. So when I'm like painting, um, I need to have something at the back to stop it from moving because it's actually quite easy to move. Yeah, so if I'm doing like a very hard like application, then this easel may move a lot. But it's cheap, it's less than twenty dollars. So yeah, I just wanted some some like easel to to prod my artwork up artwork up. So yay, this is the last thing. So that concludes my art supply haul video for twin spring. I, I think you guess it's like the beginning of um, twenty seventeen. So I hope you like this video and don't forget to check out my social media and also if you are interested you can actually support me on Patreon as well which all the links will be in the description box below and um, another thing is don't forget to subscribe um, to my channel and check out my vlog channel as well so yeah so thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.